Oh, hi, uh, you're at Park Road Post, and uh, this is where we're doing the sound for The Hobbit. Uh, let's go and have a look. You can see Dave's cut 16 layers of sounds for this goblin. And he's done such a cool job that... See what else I can do to it, which is fun and challenging. I think a lot of people don't understand about how a film gets made and that how many people it actually takes to piece a soundtrack together. <sighs> we have dialogue, Elves. we have music, and in sound effects alone, we break into several categories. Standard sound effects, swords, body falls, doors, things like that. We have ambiences, which is like wind. We have some crowd sounds, things like that. What we're doing here today is just put out little friends and family and all the other departments call to come down and be panicked villagers for Dale for when it gets desolated by smog. That's how we rock it in Soundpost here. Right. And here, Matt's cutting the crowds and uh, all that sort of stuff. <sighs> we're on our way. Feels like a scene from The Shining down this hallway. I really wish I had a tricycle. Foley. Oh, we've got the best sounding door. Foley's a specific part of the soundtrack which relates to humans. Anything associated with what they touch and how they move is recorded by these guys. Get to bash stuff, break stuff. Drag it, stretch it, bend it. What makes a great Foley track is often the interpretation of the sound rather than the literal sound itself. Goblin claws. 